welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited because I didn't upload like last week. So I, I missed you guys. Like I love, I genuinely love creating um, videos and content and uploading. I feel like you guys are like my little family where I get to vent, where I get to tell you my exciting stuff. Anyway, please like. Please subscribe. We are literally, I think, about 300 subscribers away from 200,000, guys. Um, I've seen your guys' ideas on how to celebrate, so we're gonna work it out, and hopefully the video after this week's podcast um, is gonna be our celebration. Yes, our podcast is coming out on Friday, and yes, we said Monday, but guys, listen, we're in the middle of renovations. Uh, Brendan's got his own career. I've got a business. We've got kids. So actually life happens so monday friday Oksalayo is a puma <laughs> anyway let me get into today's video it's a kitchen update i know i've only uploaded one video but that's just because there's been nothing going on okay let me start from the beginning beginning you guys know last we left off at my window my window was it too big or too small brendan my window was too small so we eventually fixed that we had to wait a few days according to Komoto this is the biggest mistake of his career hmm? Komoto, how does it feel <laughs> how does it feel to mess up <laughs> it's good it's mistakes good. mistakes happen it's not gonna happen again hey Never. and luckily the costs are not on me yay <laughs> when are we gonna fix it tomorrow so tomorrow I'll have a window Thursday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. If they break into my house, do you have insurance? Okay, seems like it's the right size. Guys, my window is looking stunning. Yo, I need to work on my veggie garden there at the back so it can be nice. I love the black and really considering changing all the windows of my house because that one is aluminium and the other one, all, all the other windows are not. So eventually, like three years later or like 10 years later, or maybe it won't happen, I will change my other windows. But I love the window. I love that it's big and it looks out into my veggie garden. And then we obviously thought that my kitchen would be a quick thing. Guys, maximum three weeks, one month will be done. Hi, Bo. Did I not get humbled? Like, I am beyond humbled because I am still cooking in my laundry room on my two-plate stove. But meanwhile, we got all my exciting Smeg stuff. So I got Smeg deliver all my stuff. It is the most exciting day of renovations. And yes, all that grilling is my house. But Smeg is here to deliver my entire kitchen. Um, listen, from fridge to dishwasher to kettle, you name it. We are about to smegify Mrs. Mom's kitchen. I'm so excited. You can see that. And now I have to leave. That was... <gasps> I can't even explain it, guys. Like, when I saw that truck, it was like, oh my gosh, this is actually happening. So all my stuff was chilling in the garage, my fridge, my dishwasher, my stove, my oven, microwave, you name it, kettle, you name it. All my smeg appliances arrived. Exciting, but I still haven't used them. I think like four, I think like four or six weeks later, I still haven't used them. But the good part is that Brendan's KitchenAid got finished. So he got to use his, so we're using his um, bar fridge and his um, coffee maker. So that's exciting. At least we get to experience it. But I genuinely can't wait. So fast forward, then we chose our... Um, our kitchen cupboards, we had to choose that. Guys, I didn't know like how involved you have to be when you choose a kitchen. I genuinely thought you just send a Pinterest picture and people know what to do. Gandhi, no, you have to be involved in choosing even the lining of your cupboard, your spice rack, your this, your this. So there was a lot of delay in my kitchen because I was so busy, I relied on other people. But you genuinely can't do that when you're doing renovations. You have to be there for the decision making. Otherwise, people will decide for you and you won't be happy. And then my island, I initially wanted an all white kitchen because y'all know Mrs. Mommy's either white or cream. And then I decided I actually want to 
Black Island. So that's another week added on. And then my wine rack, it was those silver one, the metal one. And then I decided I wanted to be wood. So that's another delay. So every time I changed my mind, there was literally a week added on um, into my kitchen renovation. But in exciting things, then we got to choose the stone. Guys, like in my, in my kitchen, my island is the feature. So this was super important that I get like the stone of my dreams. And the stone has to be functional. It has to be easy to clean, um, easy maintenance, and obviously long lasting. Because you get like other stones that aren't the same quality, but then you'll find that it will chirp. And I've got kids and I do a lot of cooking. Um, I'm in my kitchen most of the time and we want our kitchen to be our main area so we needed to really invest in our stone so we got some Caesar stone and the process has been absolutely amazing so we got one of the salesperson to come at the house they bought us a booklet to see the different stones they brought some samples of what we liked obviously I went for a marble touch but I really wanted like very 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 subtle marble all the marble inspired colors are, mar are polished yeah. Yeah. But this one is like a little bit warmer. Yeah. Whereas that one's cooler. Oh. Okay. Definitely between these. I really, really love this one. I definitely like between the two. So that one is the Frosty Carina. And that's the Emperor Watt. Okay. This is closer to this, right? No. So this is Calacato Nouveau. This is one of your most simple, subtle ones. It's yeah. got a really little bit of vein, yeah. and the vein is quite a warm color. Yeah. Whereas your Emperor White is a lot more bold. Yeah. And very kind bold. of, you see, that's what the full slab would look like. Okay, okay, I see. And then tell me, is it called a splashback or a backslash? Yes. It depends who says it, but it's actually a splashback. Oh, because I said backsplash the other day, and someone else said splashback. So yes, like, okay, what's yes. The term? Um, we were thinking of doing it, but we're not. Maybe you can recommend if we should just do it by the stove, or should we kind of do it throughout the kitchen? Because mm. it's either we do it or we do um, subway tiles. But also, yes. I want a very minimalistic mm. um, kitchen, very very simple. I think it's quite nice to just do the stove portion okay and then you just do like a nine centimeter just to go up a little bit on the edge but okay. not a full splashback I don't think the full splashback is necessary okay I think that can be a little bit overwhelming okay. and it's, it's just a bit of a it's waste too much. yeah okay too much. so yeah. you're saying we do like what nine centimeters <clears throat> and then what we paint but, or we do um, maybe even the subway tiles the subway tiles yeah okay. yeah because the subway tiles are really quite in at yeah, the moment they, and they, they're very nice are they timeless are. though they are okay yeah, yeah. So we had like two that was really really hard to choose from and we basically had to sleep on it because they were both so beautiful but so different in their own way um, and you guys will see at the end which one we ended up going with because that's like part of the big reveal and the exciting thing so the experience with Caesar Stone has been absolutely amazing I'm really excited about the choices we made the brands that we've chosen in our kitchen um, so yeah guys it's gonna come together I am a little impatient oh another thing guys floors so we weren't gonna change our floors initially we were gonna change them like later but then because they had to rip out so many floors in our kitchen oh here's another drama guys i'm gonna keep on slipping these dramas in gas our kitchen our original kitchen was electricity we didn't know we have to insert gas Guys, I won't even tell you how much that costs. We didn't plan for it. We just thought, hey, if you get a gas stove, it comes with gas. No, guys, they have to dig into your into your floors. So basically, ripped out more floors, more digging, another week, more waiting, delaying everything. So we had to put gas in. So most of our floors were ripped out, and we were planning on putting them back because they could, but so many spaces were, were removed. So we just decided, after seeing Brendan's floors, um, I was blown away like I absolutely love them I was like babe we have to change our floors but now we can't change the kitchen floors and not change the living living room floors and the entrance floors and the stairs so now basically we are working on three projects in one it was Brendan's studio which is now complete and then my kitchen and then now we added the living room and then we had to change the lights because we had what kind of I can't remember what kind of lights we had in our kitchen chandeliers which oh. Kitchen. No, but yeah, in the kitchen, what did we have? Did we have down lights? We had like spotlights. 
we had like spotlights and then chandeliers guys if you know one thing about your mrs mom right she hates extra extra stuff like chandeliers and shiny stuff i i'm not the girl i'm not the one it's not for me so i had to take those out and we had to put spot not spotlights um down lights that's another project on its own and guys you know when i'm talking i'm just calling these things out i'm just like okay we have to change the lights and i don't realize how much time it's adding on um so yeah guys it's been a whole long process I think even Brendan and I, between you guys and I, we even like frustrated, we agitated, we irritated because of you people don't talk about how emotionally taxing renovations are. But the beauty of all is that as we see things coming together, we're really grateful. We're starting to get excited and we are obviously complaining less because it's speak life September. But man, renovations are not a joke. But I think we've learned many lessons. We know better now. Now I know better that I need to be involved from the very beginning get all my drawings in time budget um properly and over budget like i said in the beginning and also if i can plan my 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 plan our trips our holidays our visits to parents around all the knocking and all of that stuff so next up i don't know when i have to still do my office um but brendan's kind enough to to to, to share our man cave <laughs> to share our man cave and then i still need to do my bedroom and my bathroom but i'm taking it all in little by little and guys we needed a drawing of my kitchen and because my friends are like educated and do really cool stuff i called in bully because she's an architect and also her sister tanda works in cabinetry so they they came in they basically drew the whole kitchen for us and showed us how it's gonna look at the end so that was really really helpful um, I didn't know how much I needed it but guys I advise you before you work on a project make sure that you have the whole picture drawn in for you and obviously you can call Bully and her sister they do house plans they do all of that they're really really amazing super efficient and it's always nice to to circulate the money within your friends and your family especially if everybody delivers proper proper quality so yeah guys that is the update i hope you guys enjoy it um let me know what you think um and i have gotten all your submissions of what to cook first in my smeg kitchen that's still gonna happen um hopefully crossing fingers my kitchen will be done next week and that includes painting tiles my floors i think my floors are being put in this week um so i'm hoping it will be done by next week nizobona guys honestly we're all waiting i'm not keeping you waiting we're all just waiting together but either way i love you guys thank you for always popping in thank you notification care and let's make it 200k subs.